Good morning, students. Welcome to online political science class. Uh, again, we are moving towards a uh, new chapter today, and that is chapter six, international organization. Okay, so this is international organization, and today, if I say international organization, one name comes into our mind, that is United Nation (UN). Uh, you may be uh, familiar with this thing called UN. Okay, you maybe have uh, heard about it already, or maybe you have uh, read the thing somewhere already. Okay, so again, we will start with this chapter, even. Okay, so uh, what is the conception or what is the idea behind even? Actually, the story begins right from First World War. Uh, after the First World War in 1918, uh, 1920, by 1920, one international organization was made that time by the leaders of the European countries and the name of the organization is League of Nations. Okay, League of Nations. Asha. This League of Nations did not work very nicely. And going existing through this League of Nations, another world war happened in the world. The world has seen other world war. That is Second World War. Okay. And um, this League of Nations could not stop, could not prevent the countries from going to Second World War. So I am not going in the Second World War. What is uh, Second World War and how it started? So Second World War started in 1939. And the League of Nations could not do anything for the uh, countries to stop. Okay. Basically, when the uh, war was started by Germany, actually, uh, that time uh, the League of Nations was totally proved failure, and many many of the leaders of the world they have thought that it is just a bluster that League of Nations is existing, but it is not working. So League of Nations died that time only, and then uh, when Second World War started, nineteen thirty nine. Second World War रहते समय, okay, ये जब चलते जा रहा था Second World War, because Second World War went up from 1939 to 1945. So बीच में 1941 के द्वारा that time many of the big leaders of the world they have only thought कि now is time to prevent another World War and to prevent the disaster in the world, okay. So one strong international organization should come into being and that's how it gave birth to United Nations. Okay, so United Nations is what? United Nations is an intergovernmental organization that is set up at the beginning by uh, almost 51 countries and then it today uh, went up extended to almost 193 member countries. So it's a big organization in the world that stops chaos, that stops conflict, that uh, goes to promote peace, humanity, good work, welfare things for the people of the world. So today we will go with a bit introduction of UN. Okay, so how did even begin? Like what steps? I've just written down small, small, small steps. As a, the founding date of UN, you must remember, is what? It was established on 24th October 1945. It came into operation from 24th October 1945. Okay, as a, signed by 51 countries. That time it was signed only by 51 countries countries okay now today we are having 193 member countries also one more thing i have uh, not told you the headquarter of un is new york okay the headquarter of un is new york also now uh, let me go with step by step the uh, uh, time when it was uh, just came into the mind of the uh, leaders okay most basically us uk france uh, russia these countries they have uh, took up 
the initiative to develop or to go with the concept of UN. Okay. Then later other countries also came and joined UN. Now see here development pattern. 1941 Atlantic Charter was signed. Okay. Atlantic Charter was signed. A document was signed. The first conception that came into the mind was that time. Okay. Actually UN's first, uh, uh, the idea of UN was first uh, concepted by a person, US president called Roosevelt. Okay. And then afterwards it was proceeded and to, to, to forward by different members. So Atlantic Charter was the first time when it, was, it uh, held a meeting and it was named as Atla uh, it was Atlantic Charter 1941. Then 1943 Tehran Conference. Another conference was held. It is named as Tehran Conference. The same idea that you should go with an international organization. International organization will prevent other world war. It will prevent uh, conflict and it will go with a peace promotive measures. Okay. The same idea went on. Asha Uskibar, 1945 Yalta Conference. Or a conference was. Uskibar, 1945 San Francisco Conference. So it was the last conference almost when the all the meetings, all the conception, all the things uh, took into view. Okay. It was formed into a shape. So, sab kuch soch liya tha, sab kuch te ho gaya tha ki abhi hume UN adopt karna hai. Okay, so step by step it went on discussion, debate, discussion, debate, long hour conference chala. Karte 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 they came into a hold. That now it was time to go with uh, the adoption of UN. Okay, so 26 June 1945, 26 June 1945, 50 nations signed the document. UN ka jo document hai, it was signed on 26th June 1945 by 50 nations, 50 countries. Then by 24th October 1945, another uh, one more country signed it and that's how, including India also, okay, India is a founding member of UN. So these 51 countries, they started a journey towards UN. Okay, the lead role was led by those countries I have already told you, UK, US, uh, France, Russia, okay, and other countries that are joined on. Now, it was 193 members. Now, the main motto, what is the main motto of UN? The main motto of UN, the UN ke time mein. O kya hai? This is the motto, to maintain peace and security in the world. Okay, to maintain peace and security in the world. But with this motto, other aims also came into being. What are the other aims and objectives? These are these. I have to prevent international conflict and war. The first motto is peace, peace either or peace with they will prevent up conflict and war in the world. Because we will see in the other place, there is a division, a branch. है, जिसको बोलते हैं यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल तो यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल वाज दैट काउंसिल जहां पे अगर किसी दो कंट्री को वार में जाना है ठीक है तो दे कैन नॉट गो टू वार डायरेक्टली अभी का जो नियम है दे कैन नॉट गो टू द वार डायरेक्टली दे फर्स्ट विल हैव टू गो एंड टेक द परमिशन फ्रॉम द यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल First they will approach UN Secretary General and then they will go to UN Security Council. If the permission was granted, then obviously war will happen. But even bana hai war nahi hone ke liye. So automatically they will stop there. They will go for discussion. They will go for negotiation. Okay. They will, UN will go, instruct, they will instruct the countries to go for uh, negotiation. So first year hai. Second, to promote cooperation among states. Cooperation, different type ka cooperation ho sata hai. Diplomatic cooperation, political cooperation, economic cooperation, cultural cooperation. Okay. Uh, military cooperation, cooperation bhi hota hai. So all this cooperation will end up into a conflict. And there will be no war and all will live in a peaceful uh, world nation. Okay. So, this concept is even Karaguay. Uske baad, to limit extent of hostilities. Hostilities ka matlab hoya, jagada karna. 
अगर झगड़ा करते करते कोई एक जगह पे आके रुक गया कि झगड़ा इतना बढ़ गया कि अभी वार होना ही है सो इट विल स्टॉप यूएन का मेन मुद्दा है कि वार को स्टॉप करना है किसी भी कंट्री को अगर आज यूएन नहीं होता तो शायद इंडिया और पाकिस्तान कब का वार कर लेते हैं ओके बट यूएन हैज स्टॉप मेनी टाइम्स एंड मेनी कंट्रीज ऑल्सो वेंट अप विथ इंडिया साइड में बट इवन ऑल्सो स्टॉप्ड ओके तो इस तरह से बहुत सारे जगह पे है कि कहीं कहीं पे देखा गया कि यूएन का भी लोग बहुत सारे कंट्री ने नहीं सुना है ये भी एग्जाम्पल है पूरा वर्ल्ड में लेकिन दिस इज द रूल दैट यूएन विल स्टॉप ओके तो हॉस्टेलिटीज विल बी स्टॉप बाय यूएन नेक्स्ट टू इम्प्रूव फॉर द सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड तो यूएन विल ऑल्सो गो विथ ह्यूमेटेरियन वर्क विथ एजुकेशनल वर्क विथ कल्चरल वर्क विथ गिविंग रिलीफ फंड the different poor countries poor nations who are suffering from different types of uh, problems natural calamities ho uske baad kuch diseases ho uske baad educational problem ho kisi country mein to nutritional problem ho health problem ho all these things kyunki un has a different types of wings un ka jo main shabd hai ye iska khali un nahi hai iska different different wings hai different different branches hai jo different different kaam karta hai for the world for the betterment of the world okay so this is all about un how un was established and what concept uh, un has brought into the world okay to uh, maintain peace and security in the world main motto but uske sath bhi bahut kuch cheez hai okay so this is all about united nation established on which date 24 october 1945 Five by fifty-one countries, and today UN has already one ninety-three countries. Okay, so this is the just introduction that I have given up. In my next video, I will go with the different area of this chapter. Okay, thank you, students.